So Apple is releasing macOS Tahoe to all Mac users. And everyone who uses Macs for music production should watch this video before updating. It's Poppin' Game 30 Killer Beats. And today I'm going to be testing out macOS Tahoe to see if it's really ready for music production. And honestly, and going through some of these betas, I've been going through different problems here and there. And they always tell you, you know, be cautious when updating. And that's why I always do these videos to just show you, you know, what's the actual process what are we being cautious about? Does everything for music production work to the point where we can update and have these nice features? Well, at the recording of this video, I do have the RC build of macOS Tahoe. And as you can see on my Mac, I do have the liquid glass design on my Mac. And I've been loving it so far and I've been using it and it's great. It is different versus relying on the colors of the apps to, you know, to select everything. But now another feature that I really do like that you could also utilize for music production or something like that in this Mac OS ta Tahoe, almost said taco, is the new spotlight feature, which I really, really love, which you can almost do a lot of new things now. Like one thing that you could do is, you know, you either launch apps, which you could do before, right? But now you could create notes you could also send emails i even have a shortcut in here where you could put se and then you can easily send an email which you could send me an email as well just say hey i need mixing and mastering hit the subject and say need help and then put in my email 30 kilobeats and this is a quick way how you can contact me for mixing and master production straight from the spotlight feature on your mac easily all you gotta do is hit enter you can just send me an email and then boom it's done you just contacted me just that easily another thing i have been testing out for a little while now is all the daw's pro tools have has been working fine in mac os tahoe now the main thing that you want to be cautious of is making sure that the iLock system works now if i open up iLock manager you can see that it does work in mac os tahoe now this is the main thing that you want to make sure that works because if it doesn't work none of the programs that you paid for are going to work so this is the one of the main things and real quick i can just go ahead and show you opening up fl studio and as you can see it works just fine and we can just open up a few uh editing softwares just to show you that this does work we got soft clip that does work in mac os tahoe we got a new plugin from heritage audio that i don't know if you guys ever heard of which is the successor compressor which i also have the actual hardware here as well so you know i haven't tried this out on a lot of vocals yet but i do have this now let me know if you guys have tried this out but it works we also got uad plugins as you can see they're also working and let me know in the comments which company uad waves slate digital which company is your actual favorite for plugins if you had only one company to choose for plugins which one would it be but i'll go ahead and try out another company which is actually a free plugin that i'm just trying out which is the mpc plugin uh, which you could actually use which is actually free so there's a link in the description if you want to try this out um, but I'm going to be doing a video on this let me know in the comments if you want to see me make a beat with this which is, is super dope if you never had an NPC you can get one for free and I'm going to be trying this out with my touch screen so it's actually kind of like having a real NPC so let me know if you guys are interested in the video about this all right now i have a beat that i made using ai and i'm just going to try it out to see if everything's working just fine and, and yeah it's it working just fine everything's so far honestly in my personal opinion this whole thing has been very smooth if you're thinking about upgrading to mac os tahoe i mean i don't see why not all of the features work all of my programs are working currently at the moment and i was thinking about doing a video on the beta versions but i decided not to because some of the betas were actually reported to be really really bad so i decided not to um do a video on those and wait till it was actually a little bit more stable and at the moment this is the rc version i believe of mac os tahoe and it's honestly very smooth let me know in the comments what mac os system are you currently using right now and do you plan on upgrading to the new mac os tahoe and what is your favorite feature from this new update as well and let me know what other videos you guys want to see on this channel. Make sure you add me on Instagram, TikTok, and X. And YouTube says, this video you definitely need to check out. For some reason, YouTube feels like this is a really great option for you. They feel like you're going to really love this video. I don't know. I don't know. You got to check it out.
to check out this video.